Yo, what is going on, guys? Got a video here today from Adamant Mindset. Women are losing their easy get rich quick plan since men are no longer dating them. So let's jump right in. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and your comments. And also, guys, just a quick announcement I am looking for an assistant to help with the channel. So if this is something that interests you, make sure you check out the pinned comment down below. So let's just jump right into the video. You don't need to go through the rejection and the expense and the humiliation and working out and having a plan and humor and showering to get a romantic relationship. You have you. You have essentially a group of men who are saying, I want a low risk entry into life. And they go down a rabbit hole when they don't have social connections and they don't get out and they don't have the prospect of a romantic relationship. They're more prone to conspiracy theory. They're more prone to misogynistic content. They're less likely to believe in climate change change. And some become become really bad citizens. We are producing too many of the most dangerous person in the world. Ah, uh, yes. So here's the thing. If you want men to participate in your society, if you want them to go out there and get married and work your jobs and fight your wars, it's probably not the best idea to paint them as people who don't like women, people who are dangerous. Probably not the best approach to take here. Bad citizens. We are producing too many of the most dangerous person in the world. Man, this is just pure comedy at this point. And that's just a segment from the video I'm going to show you now. So this is going to be very entertaining to watch and see how these idiots trying to figure out how dating is and why men are away from dating any woman. A growing number of younger Americans aren't dating. They're not hanging out and no, they're not even hooking up. For so many women who want to date men, Dating has become a total nightmare, and there are a number of reasons why. And you know what, guys? I have no sympathy for these women whatsoever who say that dating is difficult. I just want to point this out before we continue. You know, women will oftentimes complain that dating is hard, that they can't find a man. But let me just say this. Dating is not hard for women. It is not hard to find a man, even if a lot of men are opting out of dating. Women's standards are completely ridiculous these days, okay? They have zero standards for men who are highly attractive, but all of the other men, oh, no, 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 you have to pay their bills, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to jump through all of their stupid hoops or else you're not good enough. So I don't feel sorry for these women at all, guys. The reason why they are single is completely of their own doing, but let's keep going. I have heard from a lot of young women who want to date young men that there are none. Mm -hmm. There are no guys. They're trying to connect. They often use dating apps but find a total lack of connection. And it seems that the men they are meeting don't really share the same priorities. Wow, what a surprise. The women that men, are, uh, that women, excuse me, the men that women are matching with on dating applications do not want relationships with them. Absolute shocker here. So what happens, by the way, is women jump on dating applications. They all shoot their shot with the very attractive men. These men have no reason to commit to them. And so women complain about dating. Absolutely hilarious. No sympathy. Also want to take a moment to point out, guys, they're talking about dating and why it is that men are not choosing to have relationships with them. But for some reason, there's just never any men that they talk to, is there? And if they ever do talk to a man, he's always the one that makes men look the absolute worst. They cherry pick him to make a bad case for men. But there's not even any man here. It's just four women. Like, what are we doing? If they show up, women, especially career driven women, say the men they're meeting are more interested in sex and not looking for a deeper connection. Ah, yes, guys, the career woman, career women, excuse me, are struggling to find men. I think we all know what that means, right? The women who are incredibly masculine, who are incredibly awful to be around, who want men who out earn them, are struggling to find men. What a shocker. And that it's becoming more and more of a problem. So what's changing? Because not that long ago, people used to meet each other through work, let's be honest, or through friends, maybe at a bar or in a college campus. And it gave- Why the hell would you try and meet a woman through these things these days, guys? 
I think men have realized that if they go out there and they try and talk to you in the workplace, they might very well lose their job. They don't want to talk to you on college campuses either because all of a sudden they will be, so they will be socially ostracized from their classrooms. You know, guys, like women have done a fantastic job at ensuring that it's a dangerous thing for men to approach them. Really, really good job. Give people a chance to actually learn about each other, to break through the filters, to demonstrate kindness and show commitment and values to... Ah, uh, yes, guys. Sorry to keep pausing this, but everything that comes out of these women's mouth is just incredibly stupid. Yeah, guys, I can't wait to go out there and give a woman money. Let's, let's be honest about what this really is, okay? Women looking for kindness and connection. Like, I think we all know what that means. Actually earn affection. But today, so many people are living life through a screen. They're not going out nearly as much, not to church, not to movies, or even to the office. Opportunities to fall in love are falling by the wayside, meaning people are making decisions by swiping left on their smartphones, rather than truly learning to connect. The highs, the lows, the disappointments, all of that stuff. Wow, they try online dating apps and wonder why men don't stick around or have deeper connection. They just want to sleep around and then just move on. They really wonder why that's happening. A little bit of study or just Google search will let you know that only 10 or just 5% of men get selected on these dating apps. These men have so much option that they can sleep around almost every day with different women. Yeah, and we're never going to talk about this, right? Notice how these mainstream media outlets, they never point the finger at women. They never show what the women are doing in these situations. It's always, oh, men are not doing this. Men are not doing that. There's never any reason why men might not be doing these things, guys. They never say, hey, wait a minute. Women are out here choosing a very small population of men. Okay, they're hooking up with these dudes, they're making all sorts of terrible decisions, but we don't ever talk about this. No, 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 we just talk about how the men are apparently falling short and not stepping up to the plate to commit to these women. That's the kind of option dating apps give them. And then they wonder why such men don't stick around. It's a very simple math, but they just don't understand it. And before understanding why men won't stick around, you should figure out why women aren't qualified enough for most men. Because look at them, modern women aren't worth it. And it's affecting mental health too. According to a recent study of people over the age of 18, those who used swipe-based dating apps experienced significantly higher rates of psychological distress, anxiety, and depression. Another study showed a link between using dating apps and experiencing loneliness, dissatisfaction with life, and this is a big one, a feeling of exclusion from the world, feeling so left out. And when women do go to coffee shops, what we're hearing is that they try or to a club or the grocery store or anything where they get out and interact with people, they say the men that they want to meet just don't share their ideals. Yep, and there it is. The men that they want to meet, not the average man. These women do not give a damn about the average man. So no, I will not cry when you get on here and start talking about how women feel lonely. Guys, women have, I have said this many times, women have a stupid amount of options, a ridiculous amount of options in terms of the other gender, okay? Yes, a lot of men are walking away. They no longer want to get married. They no longer want to have relationships. But make no mistake, there are still plenty of guys who will give women these things. But these guys are not enough. He doesn't earn enough money. He's not tall enough. His face doesn't look right. He doesn't, I don't like the car he drives, and so on and so forth. Okay. And I love how this story, by the way, this news outlet has turned it into women feeling lonely. Okay. Only 5% of dudes on these apps or, or thereabouts are even selected in the first place. And yet we're sitting here and we are talking about female loneliness. Make that make sense to me, Matt. It's partly because so many young men are spending their lives 
Also, logged in, overly influenced by a flood of whatever you can find online, porn, video games, toxic masculinity. Ah, yes, toxic masculinity. I just want to take a, a moment here to acknowledge, guys, that I don't think spicy content online is good for men. It's probably quite a bad thing. Um, but I will say this, you know what? I find it incredibly funny that these modern women are quite literally losing to pixels on a screen. Real life women, guys, are losing to video games and pictures on the internet. Isn't, isn't that wild to think about, guys? Like, women have fallen so damn far that dudes would rather sit in front of screens than actually go and interact with them, right? And, and of course, this is going to be men's fault, right? We're, we're framing it as toxic masculinity. Who needs the real thing when you can get something uh, better, and I put that in quotes, by scrolling? I mean, you know, when you say better, uh, to a lot of guys, it is better. They don't have to deal with the nonsense that comes with trying to date a real Western woman. You know, like th this is actually a good trade for a lot of guys. They figure, you know what, I'm going to do this instead. It makes me happier. And, it, you know, people don't really have a case to convince these men otherwise, to be honest with you. Scrolling. Here's what Scott Galloway, professor of marketing at NYU, told us on Morning Joe about some of the reasons why men are becoming like this. See what they did there? Oh. Wait, did they just ask another woman, by the way? Is that what I just heard? <laughs> like, so we've asked women again why men are walking away. Okay. We certainly try to put all the blame on men without realizing that the women only choose the good looking guys, which are very rare, even in even on those coffee shops or uh, supermarket or whatever they're trying to find they're only looking for good looking guys who are tall and all that stuff and they're probably looking for a guy who's spending more just to assume that he's earning more they're doing all that stuff and then they wonder why such men are not uh, choosing them because such men already have common sense that women are going to pick on them on certain situation are very desperate only desperate women do that and then they, they, they don't want such kind of woman let's be honest I think you have the most talented, well-resourced people in the world and companies trying to convince a young man that he can have a reasonable facsimile of life in his basement behind a screen. You don't need friends, go on Reddit or Discord. You don't need to get a job, go on Robinhood or Coinbase and trade crypto and stocks. You don't need to go through the rejection and the expense and the humiliation and working out and having a plan and humor and showering to get a romantic relationship. You have you porn. So we have an entire generation, especially of young men, Men who are out home sequestering from society and missing out on what it means you know there's a reason romantic comedies are two hours and not 15 minutes true victory in life is hard going out meeting someone finding mentors finding mates that stuff is hard but that's what real victory in real life is like and because a lot of men feel rejected on dating apps the number of jobs that are accessible to them has gone down you have essentially a group of men who are saying I want a low risk entry into life and they go down a rabbit hole when they don't have social connections and they don't get out and they don't have the prospect of a romantic relationship, they're more prone to conspiracy theory, they're more prone to misogynistic content, they're less likely to believe in climate change, and some they come, become really bad citizens. We are producing too many of the most dangerous person in the world. And I will say this again. This is a very bad way to try and convince men to adopt your worldview and to come out here and work for you and to have relationships with your women. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not a very good strategy. You want men to fight your wars, to work in your jobs, to marry your women. And your rationality behind that is men should do it because it's hard. I mean, and what else? right? You're just calling us toxic. You're calling us stupid. You're saying that we're hateful, things like this. So let me get this straight. You don't even like these dudes. And yet you're trying to convince them to come out here and do these things for you. These people must not even hear what they're saying, guys. Like, again, they just, they just must think that dudes should just do things simply because we exist. And this is the entitlement. This is like those women who jump on TikTok and say that men should pay their bills. This is the same kind of entitlement, to be honest with you. Men should do things because I want them to.
it's like, okay, that's nice. Do you have any actual reasons or are we just trying to shame men on the television? And that is a young, broke and lonely young man. Wow, as Professor Galloway pointed out, one in three relationships used to begin at work. Now young people are not going into the office as often. And if you are a young man at work, are you more or less inclined to express some sort of romantic interest in a potential partner now than you were 40 years ago? The answer is clearly no. And by the way, men and women have been told in many places that if you have feelings for someone at work, you have to go to HR first. That'll kill the moment, and I get why that's the policy. I get how we got here. Having said that, the unforeseen consequences of the Me Too movement or of Me Too in, in general and the problems mm -hmm. that began the movement, that's a show we need to do at some point, <laughs> and we have to have a really honest conversation about that, but that's not this show. Yeah, we are very well aware what kind of con conversation you're going to have about that topic. So, of course, going to your be about men. Only men have to control themselves. Men have to do this, men have to do that. Women have to do nothing. They're perfect. They can't do anything. False allegations? Nah. Women can't do that. They're innocent. That's all the kind of bullshit they want to talk. Yeah, they'll never mention. I totally agree with Adamant Mindset here. They won't talk about the false accusations. They won't talk about the reasons why the Me Poo movement have been, you know, have had these sorts of consequences. It's all about, well, men are not doing things, so we need to try and shame men into doing them. You see, these women, guys, they want to have their cake and eat it too, right? They want to be able to go out there and accuse any guy of doing anything at any given time, but they still want the chads to approach them. They still want the men who are attractive to go out there and make the move. But I'm sorry, you know, women have made this happen. They have said, listen, we don't want men to approach us. Um, we're going to throw around these false accusations and things like this. So dudes have said, you know what? In the interest of my self-preservation, I'm not going to talk to you. Yes, I will talk to you about work-related things, but work-related things only, and only when there are multiple people around us. I will not be in a room alone with you. I will not talk to you about extracurricular activities, as it were. This is strictly work and work only. And wouldn't you have it, guys? The women are not happy about it because now men are not actually pursuing relationships with them. It's like you're damned if you do, and you are damned if you don't. And we can already sense it. And the previously she mentioned that like single lonely men are uh, very dangerous and stuff but they don't uh, seem to ask that why m women aren't interested in those. Like they can clearly solve the issue if women are into those men but clearly women only date up. They're not gonna uh, find some broke guy and settle with him or improve his life. They're not gonna look for that. But men on the other hand, they have been doing that for centuries. Yeah, women will never go out here and look for a man that they can provide for. They, women do not provide for men on average on a long-term period. They absolutely do not. Women go out here and they look for providers. They look for men to take care of them, but not the other way around, okay? And also, mind you, we will never talk about how women are dangerous ever on these sorts of shows, right? We will, we will suggest that men are dangerous. We can't really say why. Men, men are dangerous because they don't date women these days. Ah, yes. That, that's, that makes a lot of sense. That's fantastic. But we don't talk about how women are actually dangerous, do we? We don't talk about how women can oftentimes ruin your career. They can ruin your social circles. They can ruin your life and get you thrown in jail for something you didn't do. They can take your kids away from you. They can take all of your resources away from you. We don't mention any of those sorts of things on mainstream media. Not what I don't think I've ever seen it on mainstream media, actually. And now we're sitting here having a conversation about why men are not dating us and about how men need to step up because that's what makes a real man. Get the hell out of here. Looking up with this broke woman, that doesn't, be, that doesn't seem to be a problem and it's supposed to be a normal thing. Make it make sense. Wow. As Professor Galloway pointed out, one in three relationships used to begin at work. Now young people are not going into the office as often. And if you are a young man at work, are you more or less inclined to express 
some sort of romantic interest in a potential partner now than you were 40 years ago? The answer is clearly no. So when women are lonely, we are supposed to feel sorry for them. But when men are lonely, we are mocked and called incels. Exactly. I saw somewhere on the internet they said that feminism didn't only free women, it freed men from being the family cash cow. Now that's one way to put it. They're trying to use sign language to shame men in a mass chase women again. This propaganda is funny. Exactly. It's always about men being the wrong. A woman can never be wrong. They are so pure. The worst thing anyone is lacking in this society is women and accountability. Men don't need to hustle to support themselves, beat and get their own life with far less money. Yeah, that's what I said in my previous video, man. Men can live satisfying life with minimal things in life. We no longer have to work as much harder because we don't have to impress women, which in return needed life. They needed more money because that's what they look in a man. But since we are not interested in women anymore, we have a lot of burden taken out of and we can enjoy life more peacefully now. I've actually heard that dudes who are married, right, dudes who are in these long-term relationships and things like this, you essentially need like triple the amount of money than you would if you were just living by yourself and you were single. Okay, so this is actually a really good point here, guys, is, you know, dudes can be happy with very minimal things. They can have their hobby, they can have a little place to live. They, they don't need, they, dudes don't really care about having big extravagant lifestyles for the most part. This is women who care about these things, okay? Dudes can be happy with significantly less. They can chill. The reason why dudes would work so hard is like Adamant Mindset said here, they would go out here to, well, he said impress women. I don't think it's so much to impress women as to actually go out there and provide and care for them. Right? But dudes these days, they don't have any reason to provide and care for these women. Why the hell would you go out there and do that these days? Okay, so yes, dudes can get by doing considerably less. And of course, men go out here, they enjoy their life, they enjoy their peace, and the women are most affected. Very interesting. Well, that is me. Let me know what you guys feel about this. We are women that actually get to live on our own bro. for the first time in like liter like history. Bro, I literally saw a girl on TikTok was like, we are the first generation in a lot of our lineage yes. to be women to pay and paying our, all of our own bills without a man and no kids. Yes, and you have the luxury to choose to do that. Two, this is not like, oh, this is what I well, this is what I want to do and I don't need a man for it. And if I a man comes cool, but I don't need a man for it. I don't need it. him for that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need no man. I don't I don't need a man. I can pay my own bills. And yet these are the same women who will go out there and insist that men provide for them if the dudes are in a relationship. These are the same women who get to 30, get to 40, and then they don't want to work anymore and expect a man to come and take care of them. You don't get to pull this whole, I need men sometimes, but I don't need men other times. Like, no, just, you can already tell that these women cannot be dated. They cannot be taken seriously. These are the types of women that will cheat on you, they will leave you, and they will try and take your things. No thank you. Yeah, and I was like, okay, like once I started thinking about it like that, it really helped me learn how to be alone because I was like, in reality, I'm looking at my apartment and all this is me right here. Be free and acting up. How is that working off for future of humanity? Wait, my mom raised eight of us with zero help from 70s what crop did he just climb out of? Isn't that what you call adulthood around bugging? Yeah, women will literally get on these podcasts, by the way, and then they'll start talking about how they're paying their bills and things like this. This is literally just what constitutes being a normal adult. I don't think this is impressive. I don't think this is podcast material at all. But I think it's rather embarrassing that these women treat it as though it's some sort of accomplishment that they are paying their own bills. Like, yes, this is what you're supposed to do. This, this is 100% what you were supposed to do. And guys, again, all of these women turn around, by the way, at the end of it, and they blame womanism and they get upset that they were actually, quote unquote, forced into this position. I've seen so many of these girls say, I'm strong and independent, and then give them a few years under their belt going out there and working, and they don't want to do it anymore. They need a man to be their retirement plan. But guys, we are going to be leaving today's episode there as always remember to leave your thoughts and your comments make sure you guys take care of yourselves and i'll be seeing you all in the next episode peace